Tell us at all. All right, so, uh, so thanks, you guys. So I'm going to talk about uh, the, the 1969 Santa Barbara oil spill. It's really cool that you guys are um, thinking about doing this as, as, or exploring parts of the spill for your class here because uh, in a few short months, we're going to be at the 50th anniversary of Santa Barbara oil spill. It started on January 20. It began. It was first noticed on January 28, 1969, and, uh, and obviously went for some period of time afterwards and stuff. But but um, truly a watershed event. And it's hard when these things happen before we're born. And uh, you know, it's, it's hard, what was it like back then? But um, it, it's hard to underestimate the importance of this oil spill for our region, for the economy of our region, for the uh, uh, social dynamics of our region, clearly for policy and, and um, management and politics and all this kind of stuff it had a huge effect, it, very much so a, um, an outsized effect relative to how, you know, what would actually happen technically on those, those days. Um, and so we're going to talk about this. So if I go too fast or if I, if I um, say something isn't clear, stop me. It's, it's totally cool to interrupt me. Just ask a question, raise your hand, what have you. Uh, I am recording this so you guys can look at this later. Did, did you not want me to record? I did. I just want to make sure that you Okay, I'll it. attempt to not swear. Sometimes <laughs> I swear a lot, so sorry about that. Um, I'll just say before we get going that I um, have a, a more than passing interest in the Santa Barbara oil spill. So I did my undergrad. I grew up in, uh, we grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, so I'm from the coast. I'm a coastal Californian. I say dude a lot. Uh, and uh, I went to, I did my undergraduate degree at UC Santa Barbara. I had at one point, I was at one point a triple major, but I graduated with, with two majors. One of those, of my double majors, was called Environmental Studies, which was an interdisciplinary program, so it's not surprising that I'm chair of our interdisciplinary ESRM program here now. But, um, but at the time, that, uh, so that program that I went to, that was only the second one create, uh, second Environmental Studies type of program created in the U.S., behind only the Yale School of Forestry. It was created, that academic program, that, that course of study was created directly as an um, outcome of the 1969 Santa Barbara oil spill. Um, so so my, pro, my academic lineage is based in here. And then when I was an undergrad, and so I'll do a quick, a quick divergence, I'll go into chair mode for a second. Um, you guys are freshmen? Yeah? No, mixed. Well, mixed. So how many of you guys have done stuff with different professors? How many of you guys have volunteered with different professors doing, whether you're a history major or an English major or whatever? Awesome. All of you need to do that right now. So if you've not, if you've done it, keep doing it. If you guys have not done it, you really need to go, whatever your interest is, business, biology, ESRM, whatever it is, go knock on my door, on, on Dr. Anderson's door, whoever's door, and say, hey, I want to volunteer. That's how you get experience. So our students in ESRM um, get jobs in what we train them to do, about uh, more than 90% of them are employed out the door doing what we train them to do. I'd like to say that's because we're great professors, but really it's because we provide a lot of opportunities. So when you guys graduate, nobody's going to really care about your degree. They want to know you have a degree, but the next thing they want to know is what have you done? And that doesn't necessarily mean what classes you've taken, they want to know what have you done. And so your job right now is to start volunteering, getting some experience, fill out those bullets in, the, in your resume that aren't just working at the mall, all that kind of stuff you might have to do, but get some, some stuff that you want to do, right? To start, start. So my, the thing that I did with that, when I, I came to science late, I thought scientists were dorks, I thought scientists were boring, I thought they were not fun people. Um, and, uh, and long story short, I ended up taking some science classes and it was really cool, I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I started knocking on professors' doors. I wanted to do a thing called ecological restoration, where when we had a degraded swamp or a degraded grassland or whatever, we go and we fix it. At the time, up at UC Santa Barbara, nobody was doing that. Um, and so there, I couldn't find anybody. I kept knocking on doors, knocking on doors. Knocked on 39 doors of different professors, and they all said, nope, nope, nope. I said, I'll do the hor most horrible, lame job. I'll, I'll uh, you know, wash your test tubes and do the stinky things and whatever. Nope, 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 nope. Boom, 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 boom. The 40th uh, place I knocked on um, was uh, this guy opened the door and he said, hey, we don't have any paid positions. And I said, well, I just, I just need to start getting some experience somewhere. And he goes, okay, well, we have this project working on essentially oil spills. 
And so that's how I started my academic career. So I'm, I have an a academic lineage history here. I lived for a while in Santa Barbara, so I, I, I know the area and all this and that. And then it really was the beginning of my scientific career, my professional career, um, working on oil and oil spills. And, and while that wasn't my goal throughout my career, I keep working on oil spills in different ways. So this is different ways and shapes and other things. So this is, um, I have more than a passing interest in this. The last thing to say before we start talking about specifics is that um, we're actually working right now on some commemorative events that will start in January and into next year for the 50th anniversary. We, CSUCI, with a bunch of community partners and colleagues throughout the area. So if you guys are interested in this and you're doing your project and some of the stuff seems interesting, uh, we can definitely probably use that. You guys could be, play a role and help us with um, those, those interpretations, those 50 years of reflections uh, in a few months. So, cool? All right, let's talk about the San Barbara Oil Spill. Okay, so here we are. So, um, 